Chapter 26, Cobra Kong Smash. Exiting Big Thick's offices, the music and the noises from the gym began filling up into Mad Boy's ears again, which made him feel like he was going to have a seizure right then and there. Continuing on, he noticed Betamax on one of the screens as he seemed to be in an interview process with a bunch of weird, terrifying-looking puppets. It seemed like some British political TV show, and Michael began thinking of Howdy Doody again, looking at these hyper-realized, uncanny, anatomically incorrect monstrosities. What the fuck? What is this? Fucking limeys are weird. By this point, Michael had finally reached the front entrance, and before he was able to exit the building, he was then confronted by Beefy Chesty stepping through the doors. And the wounded, rage and filled expression on Beefy's face once he saw Michael's spelled it all. She was about to roll downhill again, and Michael was standing in its path all the way at the bottom. Beefy was massaging his throat, and Michael now wished he had nailed him harder in the Adam's apple and expired a big fuck completely. The fuck is he doing here? screeched out Beefy while shattering his teeth as he bit down hard. Betamax let him in, explained the, uh, the pink gorilla. Pink Gorilla? What type of... I don't really want to know. Fuck Peter Max. Ever since he's been here, him and his TVs have been driving me off the chain. Get this piece of shit. Bellowed out the man with the beefy chest. Ah, shit. Be careful what you wish for, huh? But then Michael couldn't help but to smile as he thought, Rompus Pompus, asshole, make your move. Realizing he was up for some more bitch-ass smacking action. And as Beefy tried to reach out and grab him, Michael kicked him in a crotch and it was on again. It was like a kennel of starving dogs and someone had thrown in a rack of lamb because within a split second later, beefcakes were now toppling in from everywhere in every which direction to get to Michael. There were at least 60 of the meat trucks in there and it wasn't for the fact that how oily they were, how clumsy they got as they all collided into each other trying to get to Michael, the boy would have surely been mincemeat. Within a split second, there were at least five beefcakes on top of Michael, and within a split second later, ten more jumped in to get their mitts dirty. And even with all the hulking masses, almost none of them could get a hold of Michael since they were mostly in arms with themselves. Michael felt almost helpless now under their musky masses as it stank of a thousand pounds of pork that had been placed out under the sun in the Bronx in summertime. <laughs> One of the Macedonians then must have accidentally grabbed some beefcake by the balls really hard because the beefcake then began moaning loud like an elephant ceiling with blue balls. The only beefcake that did have a hold of Mad Boy by his mitts was Cobra Kong, none other. Cobra had been wanting a piece of Michael ever since he had stepped into the place. Hell, he had been wanting a piece of him ever since Michael fucked his girlfriend back in 70-something. Back then, Cobra Kong wasn't even a porker like he was today. He was a tall, wiry-looking jerk that turned into bodybuilding, probably to mend his ego after Michael had totaled it. Cobra Kong had a bone to pick with Michael, mad boy, and he was prime ready now to collect. Long-legged, nicely tanned, statuesque, well-rounded Italian girl that sort of reminded me of Sophia Loren. And when I say well-rounded, I mean well-rounded even for an Italian girl, and I think that speaks for itself. If it just been simply humbled looking at the naked bosoms of a woman, hers could do that to you. They were so mountainously large that they were simply majestic. Also, the asshole used to beat her. So fuck him. No regrets for what I did back there. And no, there was no mistakes like that G-Nex thing, I think. How about you show me some of those dance moves now, you motherfucker? Wailed out Cobra Kong. Both men were now up, and Cobra Kong had a hold of Michael good, but before he was able to lay down some elbow work across his skull, both men were then jumped by another beefcake that got too excited and didn't want to miss out on the action. The three men were now in a tailspin as one beefcake after another joined in like it was some twirling conga line. Michael at this point couldn't help but laugh <coughs> as the heavy breeders kept trying to nail him down shut. These dumb off just don't know how to pace themselves. And once again, they had piled up on top of one another, except this time without the ball. Cobra Kong had fumbled, and Michael was now free to make his escape. Michael tried to run for the doors as he popped one Macedonian in the nose, which activated his tear ducts. Another beefcake in the ear, fucking up his equilibrium, and another in the kidney. Piss blood for a week, asshole. 
then ran up fast going super speed into overdrive and headbutted the pink gorilla in the sweet spot like a budding ram and sent that Momo packing a Shangri-La. The sweet spot is when you hit a guy in the chin from the front and if you do it right, his head jerks back in a way, fucking up with the cords leading up to his brain. Instant knockout. One Momo then grabbed Michael from the back and tried to back suplex his ass, but Michael placed his foot on top of one of the arms of bench press and launched himself flipping himself over the palooka and out of his grip. As he landed on his feet, he almost fell back but slammed his back up against the wall. Madboy then lunged himself off the wall, ran up, and also headbutted that dude in the back of the head and sent him packing a Bali high. Bali high will whisper in the wind of the sea. Here am I, your special island. Come to me, come to me. Go to her, you big oaf. Go to her. In a cruel and uncaring world, she's a place that I'll treat you fairly. I always desire to be treated since you were a child. So go to her. Bon voyage. As Michael got to the doors, he found himself confronting two beefcake standing guard, unwilling to let him leave just yet. As he began to shake and bake grappling attempts, he found himself now surrounded by the musky lot. And they all finally seemed to have learned how to pace themselves, for none of them was trying to rush him all at once. Michael needed to do something and something quick. He needed to gain some leverage because he knew once one had a gotten a hold of him. Now, the others would slowly follow and he'd be done for. As he scoured around his eyes to find what leverage that would be, the first thing he saw was a dumbbell rack that was set next to him. And his first thought then were to begin picking up dumbbells from the dumbbell rack and begin chucking. As Cobra Kong tried to rush in first, Michael quickly grabbed a hundred pounder and tried hurling it at him, but missed as a big palooka dodged his pitch. Hey, all did I just do? I'm gonna kill some one of these fuckers in here. Now chucking that 100 pounder wasn't easy as it sounded, as he did, it almost felt like it took his entire arm right off with the attempt, as a dumbbell flew past Cobra and crashed into the leg of a Macedonian and cracked it in two. Ah, my leg, screamed out the Macedonian, ah shit, cried out one of the beefcakes, seeing as to what Michael had done, fuck, you piece of shit, we're gonna kill you mad boy, cried out another, ah hell, that looks gruesome. I really shouldn't be doing this, thought Michael, but he knew he didn't have any better options. Michael now had another dumbbell at hand, but this time he wasn't going to be chucking them anymore after what he saw, what he did to that Macedonian there. Michael instead started faking throws in order to scare them back, the meat trucks, and he aimed it so he could make a path towards the doors. Every time they tried rushing in, one at a time, Michael would fake one and had them cowering back. Someone rush in and get him! Kill him! Shut up! Don't make me do it. I'll fucking murder one of you, I swear, yelled out Michael, hoping that would dissuade them. And the strategy had almost worked, but now one of the Momos had got the idea to fight fire with fire and reached over to pick up some ammunition of his own. Don't do it, screamed out Michael, but the stupid Momo went ahead as he bellowed out in revenge and heaved that 80-pounder at Michael. Michael quickly jumped out of the way as a dumbbell then flew straight into the stomach of one of the Macedonian's mates, who then collapsed onto the floor and began bellowing in pain. Seeing this, Cobra Kong then picked up a bar off a bench that was at least carrying 250 on each side. For a second there, Cobra Kong tried to chuck it, but then realized if he did, it was going to go through Michael and hit five of his buds on the other end. So instead, Cobra Kong decided to charge in and hit a home run. Everyone in Michael, seeing as to what Cobra Kong was about to do, panicked and tried to scatter. No, 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 you, you stupid Momo, it's not going to work, screamed out Michael. But the, then the Cobra Kong grinned like the Reaper and charged in anyways. Everyone began crying out for him to stop, for they knew if Cobra Kong was to misfire, it was bound to get really messy in there. Cobra Kong misfired. <laughs> As he tried to swing in to connect with Michael's head, one by one the weight discs flew off and embedded themselves into the landscape. Lots of screaming and moaning began to ensue. Michael was spared from Cobra Kong's fuck up, but now Cobra Kong began swinging around the weight bar by itself. Almost everyone out had some form of weight training equipment at hand as a weapon. One Macedonian even decided that a jump rope could make a nice whip and started flailing it about like a retarded lion tamer. Michael grabbed another dumbbell and was now dual wielding them around like some urban gym bred barbarian. Yeah, I know how fucking stupid that sounds. What else are my options right now? And then, uh, while holding those dumbbells, 
for a second there, Michael decided to do some reps, then kiss his right bicep. That had everyone look at Michael in a way. Yeah, I am that much of a showy asshole. Eat your fucking hearts out, you fucking overgrown gorillas. I am just that badass, Zeus of cool. Now how bow your ass down and worship me. Thankfully, though, no one wanted to continue chucking dumbbells around anymore after seeing how gruesome things got as Michael stood at guard, scouring his eyes for which of the Momos was going to make the next attempt. A Macedonian charged in, and his dumbbells clashed with mad boys like maces. Another Macedonian then charged in right after, wielding weight discs, but accidentally smashed over the back of the last bud of his that did. As his buddy crashed to the floor, and Michael popped the mammoth man, still standing in a kisser with a 50-pounder, which sent him twirling into the gym mirror as it shattered. Shit, where's the rumble music? But then Cobra Khan began bellowing again, holding a 200-pound dumbbell at each hand, and began kicking back dust. Okay, that's not what a... Ah, shit, fuck it. Just play... Just have a play a Billy Idol song again. As he bellowed out, everyone began scattering like cockroaches and backed off of Michael to spare themselves from the collateral damage. They saw the mess Cobra Kong left the last time, and they wanted none of it. Cobra Kong then made one last cry like a bull and charged in for the red as he took one giant swing at Mad Boy and missed. Mad Boy at this point jumped onto his back as Cobra Khan began circling around in frenzy. Mad Boy had now had enough of the Cobra Commander here, so he clocked him over the head with the 50-pounder. And Cobra Khan was now down but not out. It was like a chicken with its head cut off. Cobra Khan's brains had gone nighty-night, but his bod was still flailing about wide awake. As he went spiraling out of control and began knocking over his jabronis in the path. Finally, as he crashed into the doorman and out the door, and Michael was finally now on the street again. Michael then leaped off of Cobra Kong as the Bluto keeled over, and Michael just about felt like kissing the ground at this point. He took one last look back at Cobra Kong and noticed he was now practically snoring. Then got up and started running as a couple of beefcakes tried to chase him down. But since Michael was lighter on his feet, he was over a fence and out of sight before any of them could run him down. Unable to find him anymore, the beefcakes gave up and went back inside. <laughs> the end. <laughs>